Hi, I'm Carrie Kirkham, and you are Sipping with a Wine Fox. Right now I'm sitting here listening to Tchaikovsky and my neighbor's dog bark, and I'm thinking of somebody really close to me. His name is Piotr. He is like my little brother. Uh, he is a sommelier of sommeliers, so he is basically my sommelier. And I know he would want to be here for the first sip of the wine that I'm about to take into my mouth and describe. So here we go. Apothic Brew. So this is basically Apothic Red, which is a Zin-based blend infused with cold brew coffee. It retails for about, about $14 and some change, give or take a few dollars. So we're going to give it a spin. Mmm. Dark color. Coffee's definitely on the nose. I get a lot of yeastiness, too. A strange yeastiness. I don't know what I'm smelling. What are you smelling? Do you smell, do you not know what you're smelling either? Coffee and alcohol. Coffee and alcohol. Okay, well I'm gonna give it a taste. Now, one of my colleagues, another uh, person who I admire, he's my wine industry dad, um, said this was the worst wine he's ever put in his mouth. I wouldn't go that far. It's not as bad as you'd think. But you know what I want to do? I want to try something. It doesn't taste like it should be a uh, normal temperature. It tastes like it should have an ice cube in it. Uh, like maybe like an iced coffee wine thing. So I'm gonna try to figure this wine out. I don't like it cellar temperature, which this literally just came out of my cellar. So um, I have some ice. I'm gonna put it in the glass. And I'm gonna try it on ice. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Hmm. All right. Let's give this a try. Okay. It's much better iced. Um, it tastes like coffee and wine. It's not bad. I'm just not sure I like those two things together. I was also told that it is decaf. It is not caffeinated coffee because you can't legally sell caffeinated alcoholic beverages. So. It, it isn't the worst thing I put in my mouth. I like the Apothic Inferno. I, I, I wouldn't buy this. And most likely I'm not, not going to drink the rest of the half of my, my half of the bottle. Here, Grant, try this. This is my husband, Grant. Cheers. Yeah, let's see what he has to say. Because I'm, I'm befuddled. What do you think? Don't buy it. Don't buy it. But it's not the worst thing you put in your mouth, right? No. And uh, probably if you're a young millennial hipster, it, you might even like it. The coffee is very prominent. Here, you know what? I don't have a cup for <clears throat> shelf temperature, but I have this little dish. Give it a sip, shelf temperature, and tell me which you like better.
It's better cold. You like it better iced? Definitely yeah, better yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah, better iced. But it doesn't taste that much different at cellar temperature, so. Um, it's an acquired taste. It's like uh, grown-up soda or people who like sweet coffee drinks because oh. it's got sweet in it. Yeah, it is a little, it's on the, yeah, it has some RS. You know, this would be good for the Starbucks crowd who like the um, frappuccinos and, and those probably complex coffee drinks and wine. Okay, so that's perfect. We found the market. So if you like complex coffee drinks from Starbucks and wine, Apothic Brew is for you. <laughs> and to that I say cheers and carpe uvum. <laughs>